<clears throat> Hello, everyone. The tenth, of course, downloading all that. I'm of course up on uh, and uh, you know up there in the uh, other region. I'm right here. And then I think they added. Uh, if you want to know the truth, I think then they added uh, the Fernando, Peru, Fernando, South America map. Then I think they added uh, Verhonga, Savannah. Then they added the Yukon, which is probably my favorite map. And then, now they've added this new Spanish map. It's called Cuatro Colinas Game Reserve, long before the Spanish Crown. So Game Reserve, it has been the top choice for hunters looking to explore Spain's wild expanse. Majestic Ibex, four types. Prancing deer, vibrant landscapes, and scathing, scattered, I'm sorry, scattered remnant of Spain history. Welcome all with a taste for adventure. So, this is going to be an interesting thing, but I first recommend you, uh, wherever you may be, it, there's some animals that you need to uh, take into consideration. Uh, I would go into the storage and totally rebuff everything. Uh, not necessarily uh, the 300 or anything like that, but... Uh, I would take at least a 270. It's a pretty much of a deer weapon, and I'd recommend you taking a uh, either a polymer or soft point. You can take either one. <laughs> this this damn cat's playing with. And of course, I love the new bow with the this new sight is a rangefinder sight. I love it. It's I highly recommend it. I, I've highlighted a little bit. Now there's a few things here you want to take. Just get rid of all this, and the first thing you want to equip my guess is you remember you got wolves so I would put that one in there red deer call roe deer and a wild boar and I'd put in that pig scent <laughs> I call it pig crap pig deer you can put red deer scent in there if you want and I put wild boar scent so there's no waterfowl equipment of course whatever you want I wouldn't unless you're going to hunt at night I just put a good set of rangefinder binoculars and since there's the wolves I would I would suggest everybody you know not everybody take one of them tree stand because you're gonna be hunting in an area that is really flat it is really flat and uh, you know I mean you don't have to take if if I was going to take one less thing it'd be these that one them right there to bring your weight down a little bit okay so with that being said uh, of course you want to equip these I love this Calder bow by the way I can't I can't stress enough and the tracer errors I just just love it I'll uh, feature this side a little bit in the game it, it's super awesome any of the bows 65 pound bows will work on any of the animals it's super super awesome I kind of scatter that stuff out so uh, I would recommend a polymer you're gonna be hunting some deer size game and the Hyperion side of course is good enough and we're gonna stay right there with that for now and uh, we're gonna get ready to go to the area so and one more thing I would equip it seems like in the in the region that uh, and if you want put the portable tent up there somewhere so them's the first things I would do. So let, for, let's further ado, we'll, as she talks, I'll let it go ahead and play out, okay? So here we go. Welcome to Corto Colinas. Here we go. Well, last night, and you're ready for your Castilian adventure. 
After all these years of promising to show you Cuatro Molinas, your first day on the reserve has arrived. It means a great deal to me that you made this journey. I have every confidence that you're going to allow law until here. here. The first thing I would like you to do is to experience the sublime of Bosque Vista, not far from where you're standing just now. From a top to vista, one has a splendid perspective of the preserve. This view includes one of our magnificent outposts, which I recommend you visit when you get the chance. I know a rugged outdoor explorer like you doesn't need to spend the night in the luxury of a castillo, but you do have all of our visitors' outposts at your disposal. My mother and father had all of these lodges built over the last 35 years. The lodge you are looking for is called Casa Alfonso. To modernize the reserve, we have recently updated the interiors of all of our lodges, who became the original stone club. The contrast in styles is pure magic. Yeah, so uh, it's a Spanish descent, Spanish, of course it's in Spain, and it's uh, really an open, big hill area. Uh, just to make a beautiful point, you'll see when you get up here, it's got mixed farmlands, brush, uh, planted, you know, sunflower seeds, so it's really a reserve planted to wildlife. So once you get up here, you'll see the view, and you'll see what kind. And there is some flatter areas, so standing here, you are following in the footsteps of Spanish dukes and kings as well as every generation of my family for the past three centuries. You should be able to see Casa Alfonso from there. So of course I love the way they put more. Now, I recommend that you uh, that you uh, go and unlock a uh, place of interest since uh, you know that's that's we'll go to that one that's what she's wanting us to do to go to a outpost <clears throat> and it's just as quick to run over there I'm, I mean it's beautiful area it's really open the animals are pretty thick in the area. I mean, I kind of played a little bit on my uh, other account, just kind of look it over. Uh, but we're just going to do some main story missions here uh, for a little while. Not too long. I don't want to stream past an hour. You know, I just want to stream a little bit to give a good look at the land, uh, the robust, beautiful contrast and colors and violet flowers who planted a uh, food crop cover crops is about what it mounts to <clears throat> but we'll just try to get through the story here and go from there if I do see an animal along the way I will try to t harvest it now you can kind of check on these as you go. You might as well because they're free XP. As you know, I platinumed this game a while back and uh, I had to re I went ahead and rebounded some military outposts that used to oversee the region while these sites were originally chosen for their strategic placement and their potential to spot approaching forces. They are now perfect vantage points for hunters and tourists alike. So I agree. Yeah. Big open hay fields. So they don't have no call for the Ibex, but the thing is. Oh, I ought to be able to see that bunny. With a rifle hat. Now, there they are. 
So let's try a shot at one of them rabbits. <laughs> Long shot. Pretty much impossible to hit him. Maybe if I got a little closer. Need probably a flatter shooting rifle too. Now the thing is, when you scare the rabbits off, they usually come right back to the same area. Uh, like hunting any hare, the European hare. So we got a little taste of the first animal. We've seen the uh, European hare. They sure are. They're moving. So we can see these little rabbits are going to be almost hard to hunt unless you got the 223 or some long range rifle with a big scope. Get in a field and wait for them and just hammer them. Uh, that's what I would suggest so, and I didn't touch that rabbit usually when you hit a rabbit with a rifle it just folds them up but we're heading to this outpost so we can get into the story mode now you got sunflower garden fields here and you got them purple violet flowers I can't remember what it's called I imagine uh, we'll find out you want to look it up online you could probably look it up easily and you could discover uh, what that is but I know these are sunflowers obviously uh, that is a good wildlife cover crop sunflowers feed a lot of birds deer love it uh, all your more or less goat type creatures and herbivores love it And uh, I don't think wolves would eat it, but you never know. Wolves do eat some plant life and stuff, so you never know, really. I've seen dogs eat grass and huh, you name it. Uh, I had a big old that loved sweet corn. We used to pick sweet corn back in uh, 20, 20 years ago. And my dad, and before, you know, he used to grow produce. We'd grow acres of sweet corn and picked it by hand pick a hundred we pick a hundred du hundred dozen and probably a truck load and about an you know a hundred dozen fill a truck up pickup truck and load up and it was awesome good money back in fun to do good exercise work it was fun But what I was going to say, it had a big old eat sweet corn. Here we go. There are some parts of Cuatro Colinas that only a select few know about. I'm taking you to a place where the views are magnificent and the hunting is even better. There, I've sent you the coordinates for the trailhead that leads to this divine setting. Normally, I would insist on being there with you while you experience it. But I don't want you to lose it. I encourage you to hunt as much as you like. You are undoubtedly keen to become familiar with the glory of Jesus, speak a sense and your wild prayers. You should search for animal tracks. I know you have experience, but one should utilize every advantage when taking the cunning beasts and water animals. Of course, if you're lucky, they could be here something. Just from walking through that part of the reserve, the hunter I know will be looking like a lot more. I recall that you used to have one of your healing. Is that still true? Or have your healing made a better of you? 
So let's go ahead and take the ATV down here to the view. She wants us to see this vista. So I kind of like for an animal here, but if not, I, I can just go ahead and continue on. Uh, you don't have to kill the animal yet, because it's not really part of the uh, story mission yet. But there is some wild boar in here. I got some people working on my bathroom in there. They about got it finished. It looks immaculate. Sorry about the hammering noise in the background. So this is a tricky place right here. I mean, if you uh, look at the map, it takes you all the way down the road here. All right, but it's going to end up to where it brings you back here but we'll do it we'll go ahead and do it for safety's sake I think that's the pig hogs, the wild boar that were back up on the ridge there.
you cannot drive through the water. You cannot cross the water, and that's probably the next mission across the hill there. Once you get here, kind of takes you along the valley here to look around. Now, I'll, when I get done streaming, look, there goes a bunch of animals. Wild boar, ain't it? There they go. Bacon. Let's go see if we hit him. We're running shots, so. Yeah, I think I did get him. I think I hit him, but I don't know how good I hit him. So, yeah. One more word of warning. Um, it seems like they got a thing about putting it in active tracks. White's fine. I think I'll just like. I like to kind of make it look realistic. So I like the red color, but I won't do it this time. I'll do it pinkish. Collectibles, I'll do like. Uh, I don't know. Bright green and spotting. Kind of like the uh, line, and that that looks pretty good. So it's a pretty good size piglet. He's leading pretty good, looks like 75 medium rate. So he probably won't go very far. But you gotta watch these wild boar; they will uh, attack you. So. It does say he's uh, bleeding very low, so but he's going to die because it says very low. And usually, I it looked like I hit him good. So as you can see, he's right up there. It looks to me like yeah. So there's there's a dead pig, wild boar. I know I'm not politically correct. So that's one way I can say you know. Well done for me. I mean, that's one wild boar down. You're going to need to do enough hunting for both of us, it would seem. The administrative part of my role is something I am still getting used to. Sadly, it prevents me from spending any time on the reserve with you, or getting to know my neighbors. Cuatro Colinas is mostly composed of my family's estate, but includes several tracts of public land with public roads. Because I'm overseeing the reserve, I need to work with the local government to ensure that the public roads are kept safe. There is a stretch of road in particular that is extremely dangerous. It has a steep cliff on one side and drives me to slow right down or risk a perilous drop. Until recently, we had road signs warning approaching drivers of the danger. I've seen that pig run off, so... So I guess you gotta do it. Unfortunately, I was in a rush and had to attend a meeting, so I wasn't able to put them up. So see, here's the 
next mission and you can't get to it so I recommend just going back to your uh, waypoint here and you can just drive right up to the road here so I suggest just going back to the road going back to your fast travel to your camp which is the most uh, logical thing to do so we got a pig and have a hunt and we're going to just do a couple more story missions not, not much uh, I will have the map opened up a little bit more when you come back on I'll do that off off screen so uh, you know we'll do some hunting on here too I always do an archery only hunts on these I've always done it and I always will uh, do archery hunts and stuff on these maps. Uh, I've done it on every map. <coughs> Verhonga, all of them. It'll be archery only with a crossbow and a compound bow. That's all I'll use. Uh, I've done it in uh, the Africa map. I've done it for Honga. So we'll be doing it on here too. And I want to do a dedication. A video too for my 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 father passed away uh, I've done one for my grandfather on here they were big time they were hunters and sportsmen fishermen they done all that trapping and stuff so that kind of carried over with my dad and me so it's a wonderful 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 tradition uh, to leave a long I know a lot of kids today don't hunt many kids a day in America have uh, do not hunt uh, I think that's one thing that's going on in our world it's a lot of reasons a lot of unreal things because I don't know it's a different time too people are different today than what they were when I was growing up we were taught respect for other people today there is no respect for others it's all about actually all about me myself and I and it's uh, no uh, care for others. Not everybody's like that, but the majority, it's getting bad. And we was around guns all the time. So what's happened? Something's happened to family. Now them wolves, uh, my friend did tell me, she gave me a heads up. She said the wolves are up in the mountains. Like, uh, she told me they were right in this area, right here right in this top area but we'll find out but I hear them but uh, man there's supposed to be a road up here the only thing you know finally made it to the road the only thing I don't like about the ATV in the game it slides overly too much it's uh, you know she wants us to go put some road signs up that some vandals took the signs and wants us to do it so you know, that's fine and dandy. We can do that for her. I mean, it's be better than running. It, it, it's a vast area. I, it's a beautiful map. The storyline is pretty compelling. It's got twists and turns and all kinds of things. So we'll probably we'll try to get to a certain part uh, where she wants us to do a hunt and then we'll uh, we'll probably end the stream right there and by the time next time we come back I'll probably have the whole map opened up I'll probably try not to hunt but I'm gonna try to open up the whole map for the street so I can get around quicker but this is the first part of it. Sorry about the notifications coming up on my, uh, uh, I'll have that disabled next time. Ronto. Grande. So it's Spanish and my Spanish ain't the best in the world. So here's the place where the signs are all tore up. So we'll just pick the ATV. So there's two places where the signs are going to out, you know. So 
so she wants us to take a sign up the road before the So this will keep the road safe and we'll go up here and put this sign here. We should be good to go on the next mission. Huh. For now though, we have something else to take care of. My neighbor Manuel is a goat hunter who has been raising goats here for 25 years, and one of his goats has been missing. Apparently, it is his favorite, Aloma. This might seem like a small concern, but he has assisted my family on many occasions. I want to repay his kindness. Manuel has told me of an isolated tree that Paloma uses to hide from the rain. Perhaps that's a good place to start your search. It stands on its own, so it should be easy to find. So that's where we're heading over 9.1 miles. We'll probably just do this part right here to the goat because we're getting up to the 33 minute mark. And you know, to keep the stream interesting, part two will continue onward. And uh, of course, I'll be opening up the map, and I don't think you need to watch me open up the map. Uh, I won't, I'll try not to hunt or anything. I usually just carry me a blind, get a friend. Now, one way you can open up a map is you start a mission like this and quit. Then open up a multiplayer map and have a couple friends carry two tents and go different directions and hunt and have fun. And you can open up your whole share. You know, you can share your map and open up a whole map in no time. Level up quick too. Because remember, you get XP for going to your outposts and your uh, lookout towers. So wonderful. So we're doing pretty good here. We're about 740 some yards from the tree where that goat like to hang out oh looky they're running we'll be out before I get damn gun up Doesn't hit the damn thing. Alright, so we're going over here. Something happened to one of the neighbor's goats. Met with a roe deer. He says a goat likes to go over by this tree. So that'll be the starting point. And I'd say a predator killed it because that makes sense. If the goat don't return, it's more likely that a predator has killed the animal. Mm-hmm. I see already what's happened. Yep. Are there any clues as to what 
but maybe we won't get desperate. We ought to investigate this further and track down the creature that did this. It's essential that even if we don't catch it, we ensure that it has a in the area, putting the other ghosts at risk. It doesn't mean that the trucks are leading away from the pasture, though. Well, I got ahead of it, didn't I? this missions kind of like flagged out ain't it I'm out of it's probably color it's one of them stupid uh, telemarketers your beast or master card but this is not the, it's just a scam is all it is why these scum get by with it beats me We'll go down and get the free device. So, you know they're probably going to have trouble with maps, games. Uh, so, it's just going to be missions. Some missions are not going to work. The solid economic economy, that's that granite. That's where all the wolves are, I believe. So when you grab them, that just gives you beautiful XP. And that wolf track's still up here. Just fall, keep following her tracks. Once you get up here so far, uh, I'm sure something will happen. So. Just comes up to here. Since taking over responsibility for the reserve for my father while he gets better, I have started to realize just how much effort goes into maintaining Cuatro Colinas. Vista Hispania are quite determined to have a meeting with my father, but he is in no position to negotiate a deal at the moment. I find myself too busy with the small tasks of running the reserve, making it impossible to deal with anything else. I had planned to take you to visit my mother's memorial today. A close family friend, Padre Abbas, has made a wreath and offered to go in our stead. I wonder if he got a chance to visit. He's his man too. He spends most of his free time exploring the reserve when he isn't stopping by to visit us at the Castillo. I don't know if he will get an opportunity to visit the memorial today. And I know that I won't get a chance for at least a week. She deserves better. I should be up there now, instead of meeting with lawyers and accountants. I know that bureaucracy is necessary to run a game reserve, but it all seems trivial when compared to taking care of my family. Even though she's gone, I still feel a sense of duty. I apologize. You don't need to hear this. I should get back to work. So that's this area.
So what we'll do, we'll run right down to the four-wheeler. So this is about where we'll end the stream. We'll continue tomorrow. Uh, we've been streaming now for 41 minutes. We'll, we'll, I'll be over there when we start at that area. So thank you for watching. I'm very thankful for you to watch the stream and get a good look at the video. Uh, not got to hunt much. I did kill a pig. I didn't check on the other pig. So, I mean, he may be dead as far as that goes. Nah, maybe not. But, uh, yeah, anyhow, thank you very kindly for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, everybody have a good day. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.